All right, what's up guys? It's your boy Dane Visuals here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Small Rig 220B. Now, Small Rig recently got into lights and guys, I have to say this is one of the most amazing lights I've ever owned. I was in the market for a light. I've been using Nanlite and I was wondering where to go. I was torn in between the Nanlite Forza 300 as well as an Aperture 600. But both of those lights were a bit out of my price range. So lo and behold, I noticed that Small Rig had a light option and honestly, it's so powerful like I compared it to my Forza 60 which obviously would be more powerful than a 60 watt light but I was really impressed especially considering the fact that it's a bi-color light now the importance of having a bi-color light guys is that you have the option to go to as low as 2700 Kelvin and then to go as high as 6500 so this is going to give you options in terms of like getting that like you know orange and tea look or just kind of experimenting with um with temperatures when you want to get like cool effects so for me personally, the three things that I want to focus on in this light review is price, build quality, and overall performance. Now I must say that the build quality in this light is pretty sturdy. The light itself has um, plastic parts, but the part that attaches to the light stand directly is made out of a firm metal. Um, I have a big soft box on it right now, and to be honest, it's, it's not holding up that well, but it probably needs a smaller size softbox because if I'm being fair, I had this softbox on like an 8600. So I'm assuming that maybe a, a slightly smaller softbox right now, I have a 120 centimeter softbox on this and it's giving me some nice soft light. But I feel like if I put like a smaller softbox, it would handle it a lot better. Overall though, I must say the quality of light coming from this is extremely powerful. Like I did not expect it to be so bright like it literally brightens up the entire room right now i have it set to probably around 20 percent and as you can see like you know it's really doing an amazing job on getting some clear bright light onto my face so personally the power of this light is amazing now cost wise if i'm going to be fair for a bicolor light i mean i was in the market looking for a bicolor light for quite some time and yeah definitely this light is one of the cheapest ones out there if you go for the daylight only it's gonna cost you around $329 at the time of me making this video. But for the bi-color, it was $369. And like, come on, that's a steal, guys. For bi-color lights in like the Nanlite Forza series, uh, the 200 watt, you're going up to prices like 500 USD. I've seen them for even 550. Um, for Aperture, it's even worse. So this was a very affordable light. This was something that, you know, like I couldn't think about twice. And I mean, honestly, I just got this light, so I won't even lie to you guys. I haven't tested it out in much situations, but I'm just loving it so far. Like, I'm loving the range from zero to 100. Now, here's some features I'd like to discuss with you guys. It has a app that I won't lie is a little, a little wonky. I was trying to use it to program the light manually. So, sorry, I was trying to program the light with the app, but it wasn't exactly working out for me, so I just did it manually. Um, it also has the ability to, for you to program more than one. You put them in a group and you can um, you know, run a chain scene. But because I can't use the app, that didn't actually work for me. And I also only own one for now. So yeah, that didn't necessarily work out. It comes with some effects. Uh, effects aren't something I particularly need I'm looking for a light, but it's really cool that you can try some creative stuff. So you know, you have stuff like flames, you have stuff like um, TV mode, you have like a paparazzi effect. And because it's um, bicolor, you can try out some stuff that you might be able to simulate like a fire scene, you might be able to simulate, you know, like a, a, a camera flashing. So it's really interesting that you can try, try those things. And personally, I'm really glad that SmallRig is coming into the game and offering innovation because honestly guys, we need cheaper stuff. Like this, this whole thing is expensive. So I'm really glad that we can get cheaper gear. So definitely if you're a YouTuber, if you're a content creator, if you're doing interviews and stuff like that, I think this light is absolutely amazing for you. Like do not um, think twice. If you need a 200 watt light and you don't have that much money to spend, yeah. You're probably not gonna see this light on a movie set, but I mean, if you're on YouTube watching a review video for this light, you're probably not shooting movies anyway. But do not think that this can't give you a movie like quality. It definitely can, but this is your segue to get there. So I'm gonna give this light like a solid, a solid um, eight out of 10. Like I feel like this, this is something that I am glad I added to my arsenal and I can't wait to see what I create with this. So if you guys like this video and you want to see more content like this, please feel free to subscribe.
If you guys like this video and you want to see more content like this, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more. Bless.